what's going on guys I hope all is well and I hope you guys are doing well and I just wanted to share a brief message I put this aspect in the walk of my life with God every day of my life this is what I aim for daily I want to make sure that I am in line with his word that I am in line with his Holy Spirit that I'm living according to his righteousness trying my best to aim my mind towards my father's ways on a day-to-day -day basis remember I did a message a while back of having a spiritual inventory done within our souls and asking the Lord to remove any negative things to see what needs to be removed from our hearts that goes from any kind of hidden sins any hidden junk and once again this is a season in this particular month to change our ways to really be cleansed and live in a life of purification and sanctification so every day I want to make sure that the fruits of the Spirit are within me and this is in the book of Galatians chapter 5 And I'm going to start at verses 19. It says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleansiness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, as, as, and as such, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So this is very important. Paul says you will not inherit the kingdom of God if you're partaking in these particular, th in particular things. But let's go to verses 22. And remember what I said. This is what I aim for on a day-to-day -day basis. To have the fruits of my Father within my soul. Which is these. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness temperance against such there is no law I love the fruits of my father's spirit I love the fruits of the spirit because it basically teaches me and it shows me that that is what Jesus is like that is how he carries himself that is what God is God is love God is joy God is peace he's uh, full of patience he's full of gentleness goodness and faith meekness and temperance and Temperance, which is self-control, is very important, especially in our lifetime. This goes for the regular part of our life, and it goes for the spiritual part of our life. We may have times in our life when we'll do certain things, you know, we'll, we'll indulge in certain things that we're really not supposed to be indulging in. It could be eating, it could be doing something, and it can lead to a form of idolatry. That's why it's very important to learn how to live a life of self-control to be able to control the things that we do in this life we got to have our mind in check we got to have our soul and our bodies in check especially walking with God we must be balanced and we must realize we need to do thing do things in an orderly fashion amen <clears throat> excuse me for a minute so once again self-control is very important Another aspect we need to focus on is love. I remember I did a, a message a while back speaking on love. God is love. If we can't have any kind of hatred within our hearts, we need to get rid of those things. We can't walk in hate. We can't we can't do that. We can't, you know, bash our brother. We we gotta learn to forgive and learn to walk in the love of Christ as he is love. Amen. So let's let's walk in love. Let's continue to have faith and let the faith of the Lord be manifested within our hearts and our souls so that way we can further ourselves in this journey all right let's let let's continue to live a life of peace live a life of peace remove any strife from your life get rid of any drama any poison any any loudness anything that's distracting you from God if you're living in distractions if you're living in drama living and willfully continuing to sin you will miss the peace of God. You may have worldly peace for a temporary a time, but eventually you will not have peace. You will not have the real and true peace of God if you, if you live a lifestyle of drama and sin. Amen? 
long suffering, meaning patience. We gotta, we gotta have patience. I know it's hard to have patience, but patience is very important. It's also very important to wait upon the Lord, to wait upon His timing. Remember, our timing could get us in trouble. Doing things on our time can lead us in the wrong direction. But if we learn to have patience and learn to live a life of long suffering, I like the word long suffering and patience because during patience, there's, there's going to be times of suffering. There's going to be times when storms will come, but patience will teach us how to endure through those storms, to endure through the struggle. So patience is a very important aspect in our spiritual journey with the Lord. Amen. So let's continue to walk in the characteristics of God. Let's continue to walk in his ways, to continue to be filled with his obedience. So that way we can really make it in this, in this journey with the Lord. So read, read the book of Galatians and I'll give you the verse again. Specifically, it's in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and it talks about the fruits of the Spirit. So let's do an inventory check within our souls to see if we have these qualities of God within our souls. And if we're missing even one fruit, Let's ask the Lord to, you know, help us to work on that fruit that we're missing in our lives. So that way we can make it all the way with God. Being able to have all the fruits of the Spirit is, is, is such a great joy. I'm a witness testimony of that because it teaches me how my Father is. And, and, and we may not never had seen Jesus, you know, obviously we're, we weren't in the time. And we were we we didn't physically see Jesus when we when he was on earth, but it lets us know in the book of Galatians the fruits of his spirit how he is, and we know that Jesus is is the one and true living God, and I'm a living testimony. When I gave my life to the Lord, his fruits was manifested within me more and more. I was able to experience his love, joy, peace, faith, long suffering, and all those fruits right there, and it's just a great testimony to to share with you guys. The fruits of His Spirit is very real and we must have these in our walks with the Lord. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Feel free to share this message with others. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I go by the name of Brother Rob for those of you who do not know me. And continue to be strong, especially in these last days. Continue to further yourself in the journey with the Lord. And I pray that you will take heed to this message as well. I love you all in Christ Jesus. You guys take care and remain strong in the Lord. Take care, guys.